Michael Berry is Newt Gingrich, the Republican, Ralph Nader. Yeah, I think at this point he is. As long as he stays in, uh, Santorum doesn't have a chance. Uh, honestly, I don't think that Santorum can close the gap at this point. He's too far behind. But uh, Newt staying in ensures um, – Mitt Romney, the, the nomination. In fact, if I were Mitt Romney, I would pay Newt's uh, expenses. I could tell the, the billionaire in, uh, in, in Las Vegas, you don't need to. We'll, we'll pay his expenses because he's costing Santorum the nomination. He's keeping this from being a real race at this point. Carl. Well, I, 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 I agree, and we've talked about the math before, but by Newt staying in, he just reinforces the fact that the Republican uh, electorate in the primaries is very lukewarm to Mitt Romney. I mean, in Ohio, True. barely over 40% say they backed Romney strongly, those who voted for him. And you look at the turnout, it's down in all these primaries and caucuses from 2008, severely down. The more that's goes, and, and Michael's right, the math is there. Uh, Romney's got it, everyone knows it. But as long as Newt stays in, the message is we're not happy. Agreement on our first issue this morning. Hey, Carl, Sarah Palin has indicated if it comes to a brokered convention, she may be in. Will it come to that? No, it, it certainly won't come to a brokered convention. You look at the math, Santorum would have to win 65 to 70 percent of the remaining delegates up to have a shot. I love that Sarah Palin speaks a lot. She had a chance uh, on Tuesday night on CNN to uh, comment on Rush Limbaugh and said, Oh, it's hypocritical because the left is never reprimanded. Uh, she didn't uh, like, like, by the way, Mitt Romney to come down strong on what Rush said. She didn't do it. I'd love to see her face any night, especially at the convention. Michael Berry. Well, I don't think it'll be a brokered convention. I think Romney's going to win it fair and square. We're just a month later than we were in 2008, and it's on pace that, that Romney will end up uh, uh, winning the nomination. On the issue of Sarah Palin, I, I've never been a huge Sarah Palin fan. I think she should have a voice like anyone else who wants to in public life. It's, she's certainly not as crass or as, as, as horrible as Bill Maher is in some of the things he said. But at this point, I, I think that people are giving her too much credit. She's just one more person offering an opinion. She's not a presidential candidate. She's not going to be, but she has to pretend to be so that there's a little more uh, luster in what she says. Well, since you guys brought it up, the Rush Limbaugh controversy. Michael Berry, what's the political message, big picture? Well, I think the political message is the left will use some pretend indignation at some statement that's made to try to dis to destroy and silence people. It's interesting that out of this, Bill Maher rushed to Rush Limbaugh's defense and posted, leave Rush alone. He made an apology. The left looks ridiculous, and I do not believe in intimidation by sponsor pullout, because Bill Maher understands that the things he said, if subjected to the scrutiny of the light of day, would get him kicked off of HBO as well. We either have free speech or we don't. Should Rush have said it? No, he shouldn't. Why attack an individual woman like that? It didn't do any good. But it's no worse than anything Mike Malloy or, or Rachel Maddow or any of those other folks have said. We should have free speech, and, and the marketplace can decide what's acceptable and what isn't. But trying to kick people off the airwaves or armed forces radio, that shows that people are afraid of the message that counters the mainstream media. Carl? Well, I disagree. And, and number one, it isn't the left that's, that's upset. It, it, it's all of America that's upset by what Rush Limbaugh said. There is a difference between what he said and what Bill Maher said. I don't believe Bill Maher is sexist. He may make comments about Michelle Bachman or Sarah Palin in a funny way, but Bill Maher is not sexist. Russ has built his career on sexism and homophobia and on, on racism. And uh, I, the premise is also wrong. Tell me, there are no tax dollars involved here. Georgetown is a private institution paying a private health firm. There is a federal mandate, but it doesn't involve tax dollars. Rush was wrong, and I think the the free market does include boycotts. And I'll tell you, WABC on Tuesday, 69 spots during his show, 39 of them unpaid PSAs. I think boycotts are fine. It is also the market speaking. Last question, Carl. Super Tuesday, what's one big takeaway? I think the takeaway from Super Tuesday was the press conference that the president held on this day, on that day. And look, we know that the president uh, picked that day for a reason. 
He was, and I hate to overuse this phrase, but it's true, the only adult in the room. He's calling out the Republican candidates, other than Ron Paul, for stoking this rush to war with Iran. He is uh, calling them out on saying that gas prices are his fault when indeed it's speculation. I think he looked very presidential and juxtaposed to the kind of what I was talking about before, the disinterest among the Republicans and the infighting there. He was the big winner on Super Tuesday, the My, president. Michael. I'm sorry, what was the question again? Big takeaway, Super Tuesday. Well, I think the big takeaway is Romney didn't lose. Uh, Romney did what he needed to do. It wasn't a huge victory, but he is plodding along. Romney's not an exciting candidate. He's not a guy that has the base very excited. He doesn't have the South excited. He doesn't have evangelicals excited, and yet he manages to plod along. I don't think that uh, there's a takeaway with regard to Barack Obama. He continued to be the partisan president that he is, representing a small minority of Americans, very divisive, very petty, and he proved that even on Super Tuesday. I think the real process here is, if you look at the polls head-to-head, uh, -head, any of the four can beat Barack Obama, including Ron Paul, which just goes to show that at some point in the near future we'll have a Republican nominee, and when that happens, Republicans and independents and a lot of Democrats will begin to unite around that candidate, and they'll defeat Barack Obama in November. That's the real takeaway. Boy, did we ever have a nonpartisan president other than George Washington? Um, Ronald Reagan. <laughs> <laughs> On that note of comedy, let's just leave. Michael Berry, Carl Wolfson. Good night. Thank Try the you meal. very much. <laughs> Bye.